This tutorial is all about the effect of changing the concentration on the rate of a chemical reaction. When you're changing the concentration of, for example, orange squash like this, then you add water. So changing the concentration of a solution involves adding more or less water, making it more concentrated or more dilute. Here's the part of the GCSE specification we're going to cover looking at what the effect of the concentration is on the rate of reaction and also explaining that in terms of what's called the reacting particle model or the collision theory and then interpreting graphs and being able to tell from the steepness of the graph which is the more concentrated and which is the less concentrated solution. A typical reaction used in schools to investigate the effect of concentration is this one which is the disappearing cross experiment Inside the flask we have a mixture of sodium thiosulfate and uh, acid and by changing the concentration of the sodium thiosulfate and timing how long it takes for the cross to be obscured by precipitate of sulphur we can see the effect of a change of concentration on the time taken for the reaction and therefore on the rate of the reaction. Let's imagine some results for the most dilute of the solutions, in other words 10 of the thio diluted with 40 of the water, this might take for example 200 seconds and as we increase the concentration of the thio solution, so the time taken for the reaction to reach this same end point reduces and reduces uh, and as we can see that shows us that the rate of the reaction is increasing as the concentration of the thio is increasing. Now plotting these onto a graph and then drawing a curve of best fit shows us quite clearly that as we increase the concentration to the right so the time taken for the reaction is reduced and that means that the rate of the reaction increases. What's also worth noting from these rather dodgy set of results is that if I double the concentration for example from 0.2 to 0.4 concentration then the time is halved in other words the uh, rate increases uh, by double uh, taking another pair let's take from 0.4 to 0.8 again the time taken goes down from 100 to 50 so the rate has doubled so increasing the concentration increases the rate of reaction but doubling the concentration actually doubles the rate of reaction the reason for this is quite straightforward and can be explained using this reacting particle model. So if you increase the concentration of a reactant, in this case increasing the concentration of the sodium thiosulfate or thio, then you make the particles more crowded and if there are more particles in the same volume then the number of collisions is going to increase. So collisions will become more frequent and if there are more frequent successful collisions then there will be a faster reaction. And I guess that if you double the number of particles of the thio, you will double the frequency of the collisions and therefore double the rate of reaction. This diagram shows a different situation. For example, here we might have uh, hydrochloric acid being shown here as the red particles reacting with a solid like magnesium. And in this case, on the left-hand side, we've got a low concentration of the acid, only four of the acid particles uh, shown in this volume and therefore we've got very infrequent collisions and therefore a slow rate of reaction. On the right hand side however what we've got are the same reactants but we've got double the concentration of the acid which gives us double the number of particles in the same space. That means that the particles are more crowded, are going to react with the um, metal much more frequently and therefore uh, have a faster rate of reaction. And shown here double the number of particles is going to give you double the frequency of the collisions and therefore double the rate of reaction. Now looking at this on a graph and don't worry too much about the terminology here because it's taken from an American website uh, where they mention milliliters rather than cubic centimeters as we do and the concentrations being in these capital M's but I think you can clearly see that we've got two lines here or two curves on the graph. The lower concentration here with the one mole per cubic decimeter solution of hydrochloric acid uh, is a lower gradient graph, particularly at the beginning, and for the two molar 
concentration, in other words, the double the concentration, a much steeper graph showing a much faster rate of reaction. And in that same 20 second period, uh, we're getting double the volume of the gas with the double concentration hydrochloric acid showing that the rate of reaction is broadly doubled. Note again that the reaction stops when there is no more gas being produced and the graph levels out. But of course these two graphs have got uh, different leveling off points because there's different numbers of particles of the acid in each of the solutions. This one will have double the number of particles to this one and therefore when it eventually stops uh, it will make probably double the volume of the gas assuming there's quite sufficient of the solid in there to react with it. And summarizing that last point that if you double the concentration of the reactant which runs out, in other words the limiting reactant, then you will double the mass or the volume of the product that you get in the reaction. And a similar idea here, again using yet another different chemical reaction here between uh, hydrochloric acid and marble chips to produce carbon dioxide gas and measuring the carbon dioxide gas if we have two situations, one where we've got 50 cubic centimetres of a 200 gram per cubic decimeter uh, acid and another one where we have the same amount of marble chips in excess, so plenty of marble chips to go around, uh, this time with 50 cubic centimetres of a half the concentration acid, then in situation B where we've got half the concentration of acid and therefore half the number of particles of acid reacting with the marble chips, we're going to get half the volume of the carbon dioxide produced. A gives double the volume compared with B because A has got double the molecules of acid so it can make double the molecules of the carbon dioxide. Note also there's a difference in the gradient between the two graphs because acid A is double concentration it will have a much faster initial rate of reaction as well.